atom. An atom is the simplest structure that substances are made up from and is made up from two parts. The centre of the atom is known as the nucleus and this is where protons and neutrons can be found. Protons are positive, they have a charge of one positive. Neutrons are neutral and they have a charge of zero. Because protons and neutrons are found in the centre of the atom, this is where all the mass is contained. So protons will have a mass of one and neutrons will also have a mass of one. Outside of the nucleus, we have electron shells and this is where electrons can be found. Electrons have a negative charge, so have a value of one minus. Because they're not found in the centre of the atom, they do not have a mass. So we tend to say that this is negligible or give it a value of zero. In the first energy level, it can hold a maximum of two electrons and we position those at 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock. The second energy level can hold a maximum of eight electrons. We position them at 12, 3, 6 and 9 before doubling them up again at 12, 3, 6 and 9 o'clock. The third energy level or the third shell can also hold a maximum of eight electrons which sits singly before doubling up. You must know the subatomic particle summary for your exam. You need to know the names of the three subatomic particles which make up an atom, which are your protons, neutrons and electrons. You need to know the position, what structure of the atom they're found in, their charge and their mass. An atom is neutral because it has the same number of protons and electrons. This means that the positive and negative charges cancel each other out, making them have no charge and therefore the atom being classed as neutral. This past paper question is from the National 5 2018 Multiple Choice 2. Which line in the table identifies the correct location of a proton and an electron in an atom? Protons are found inside the nucleus and electrons are found outside the nucleus. So the correct answer to this is multiple choice answer B. This past paper question is from the National 5 2016 written 1A part 1 and part 2. Complete the tables to show the missing information. Protons. It's asking you about the mass. Remember, the mass is contained within the nucleus. So protons will have a mass of one. Neutrons are neutral, so have a charge of zero. The only other particle that we haven't looked at, which is found outside the nucleus, are the electrons. And electrons have a negative charge, so a value of minus one. This past paper question is from the National 5, 2014, written 1A. In 1911, Ernest Rutherford carried out an experiment to confirm the structure of the atom. In this experiment, he fired positive particles at a very thin layer of gold foil. Most of the particles passed straight through, but a small number of the positively charged particles were deflected. What caused some of the particles which were positive to be deflected in this experiment? So we need to know what the word deflected means. The word deflect means to change direction, turn aside from straight course. So what we're looking at is we're looking at something which repels, it doesn't like. Now we've all heard the term opposites attract, which means positive likes negative. So what charge would a positive particle repel? What would it not like? It wouldn't like the same charge. What particle is positive, which is inside the atom? And what we're looking at is the protons. So therefore, it's the protons inside the nucleus which cause the positive particles to be deflected. 